Hello everybody, and uh, as you may see on screen, there is a new name. It's, uh, hi, here I am, expat Danish. Welcome to the Hash Rugby Chat pre-show. Pre and um, you may, and obviously on Twitter you'll know me as expat dad SG. And uh, that's all going to change. So the, uh, at the end of the um, Hash Rugby Chat tonight, um, I'll be renaming myself to Driving Mall. So there you go, you're the first to know. So the, the, uh, the blog will move. Um, the um, Twitter, uh, well, the blog will actually move, the blog will stay in the same place, um, but it will um, be under both names for a while, and um, I will uh, be changing my Twitter handle to Driving Mall at the end of the hash rugby chat today, so please get ready for that. Just pouring myself my whispering wheat beer. Cheers. Hope you got yourself a cold one and ready for the rugby chat. What have we got um, coming up? Well, um, if we have a look back over the... Oh, sorry, just a couple of things. First, um, you can tap the screen to do love hearts. Uh, you can swipe left or right, um, and then you can share it with other people. So, um, there you go. That's, what's, uh, that's how this whole Periscope thingy magic works. So, yeah, what's happened over the weekend, over the last week? Um, clearly, we've been having the... Um, uh, the, the rugby's been going... Rugby World Cup has been going on. Hey, my rugby blog. Uh, nice of you to join. Um, so yes, so over the last week, what's been going on? Um, obviously, the rugby um, has been going on the Rugby World Cup, so and we've had a few results there. The first weekend gave us a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch, a couple of um, good surprise results. So Japan beating South Africa, obviously, and um, Georgia beating Tonga. This last week really hasn't given uh, has been much more predictable. Um, the with basically the higher ranking team winning in pretty much every single game. Um, Including the Wales England game, England Wales game. Um, so the um, I am still wearing the rose, just a 2003 version rather than the the, the current version tonight. Um, I think a lot of that's come down, or obviously some of it's down to just teams playing well. Um, and, but um, there's other things um, that's come down to that, such as the the scheduling has really hurt some teams. So um, Japan is a prime example of that one. Um, so have a quick look at. Um, so I wrote a piece called um, um, The Rugby World Cup Schedule, um, a Tier 2 Handicap. So check out the blog for that. And um, that's one of the topics we'll be talking about during the, um, during the rugby chat. Um, also, something else I wrote recently, but we won't touch on it during the rugby chat, is, um, is New Zealand's paranoia with France justified. Um, the, the more we go into this, the more likely it's looking that, uh, that New Zealand will be getting either France um, or Ireland. Um, well, it's actually it's inevitable they get one of those two in the quarterfinals. So France in Cardiff, that'll be a fun one, won't it? Obviously. So the games, let's quick run through. Um, Scotland beat Japan, um, and it was very much the second half when they racked up the points. That's been something of a theme for Scotland um, when they played um, the other game as well. It was the second half that they really they and um, they picked up Australia um, beat Fiji. So Fiji looks like they're going to have to qualify for the next World Cup as they've already finished fourth in the group. Um, France beat Romania and New Zealand beat Namibia, as I said. Um, four relatively um, predictable ones I did. In my predictions go for um, go for Japan over Scotland, but um, uh, but I say the higher ranking team um, uh, won there. Then over the weekend we get um, Argentina obviously um, beat Georgia, um, showing off their backs, but obviously that uh, obviously swung on the uh, on the yellow card of uh, George Nebrate, and I'm not going to try pronouncing his name. Um, Italy edged over um, Canada. Canada were much better than I expected. Um, they've been pretty poor in the run-up to this World Cup, but they did pretty well. Um, South Africa bounced back and with the um, uh, um, be um, beating Samoa convincingly. Um, the the Boklash, I think, is the is what this, is the term they're using for that one. Um, England obviously lost um, to uh, to Wales, where Wales basically kept their head um, and kept themselves in the game. When England were on top and England weren't able to take advantage when they were on top and lost their heads towards the end. Um, a few players like Mike Brown um, really lost uh, really lost the plot a bit um, towards the end there. Uh, Australia racked up another big win over Ur another good win over Uruguay. Um, Scotland as I say beat USA um, with a second half performance, um, and then Ireland picked up a regulation win over Romania. Hey, uh, Alan Callan, uh, good to join us. Hey, Capel, how are you doing? 
the um, so the way this all works, you can tap the screen to give hearts or swipe left or right to share it. Um, you can also type in questions down the bottom there. G'day. So I've just run through all of the um, all of the games in the past week in the Rugby World Cup, um, and obviously and said that we'll be chatting about the schedule, as particularly join the Rugby Chat, um, as well as a few of the, the key games. Other stuff that's been going on, we've got the Curry Cup going on. Um, the Lions are still unbeaten in that competition and um, and looking good. Um, the ICM Cup, um, Canterbury have, uh, have now gone top of the table and uh, as Tasman have slipped up a bit um, and Hawke's Bay managed to keep the hold of the uh, Ranfill Shield um, against uh, against Auckland. Um, so I was, I was hoping they would get that and we'd, I'd get to see a Shield defence before the end of the season but it doesn't look like it. Uh, finally the NRC um, where there have some, been some big scores all the way through the season. Um, I mean, 63 points there for um, the Vikings. Um, there are 100 points in the game. Um, there's been some crazy scores, and you do wonder about how, what the uh, standard of defending is um, during these. But anyway, Brisbane and Vikings are still undefeated at the top there, um, with just the Rams now left looking for a win. So that uh, gives a roundup of all the rugby that's been going on over the last week. Um, and uh, was it three minutes to the rugby chat. So just a uh, quick pointer, uh, reminder that... Um, I will be changing my name after every chat to a driving mall. Um, you can find me, um, the blog will also move to um, drivingmall.com, but expat.sg.com will stay alive for another, um, just about a year, I think. I think I've paid for already, so that's um, so that'll still be there. So, but just to get used to the um, the new name. And uh, see you on the Hash Rugby Chat in a couple of minutes. Thanks, guys.